Some toys require batteries to move on their own, but then there are special toys like the ones on this list, which are apparently ghost-powered. Number 14. A mother records her child happily pressing Play-Doh into different shapes, completely unaware that the toy moves twice on its own. The first time is almost unnoticeable, so watch closely. The second time, however, is much more obvious. I mean, look again and you'll see both of the kid's hands are completely off of the toy when it suddenly somehow moves towards him. This video is one of the few instances where I have absolutely no counterpoint to disprove it, and I can only conclude that what you've witnessed is almost certainly paranormal. Number 13. Esmeralda Vega is recording her family opening presents on Christmas, but one toy in particular keeps interrupting what should have been a happy family moment. That shit moved again, I'm throwing it across the- <laughs> Maybe someone is controlling this toy from another room, or maybe it's motion activated, but based on their surprised reactions, I don't think anyone is moving this toy on purpose. If anything, the toy seems to move on its own as soon as the camera person mentions it, almost like it has a mind of its own. If anybody recognizes this toy, please let me know what it's called and if it's remote controlled or not. Maybe together we can verify if this video is real or not. Number 12. This video is quite short at only 7 seconds in length and leaves us with more questions than answers. Two girls are filming a YouTube video with a large doll toy. If someone could translate this part, it could give us more insight into what the video was supposed to be about. <laughs> Instead, the toy starts moving all on its own, staring directly at one of the girls. The girl off camera tells her to look at the toy, and when she does, she throws it down in fear. Their reactions both seem very genuine, and if this isn't paranormal, then I have no idea what caused this. Number 11. This grainy video, taken in a dark room just outside of the kitchen, shows a children's toy suddenly glide forward on its own without warning. The quality of the video is not very good, but then again it was taken in 2010 and seems about right for camera phones of that time. As for why the camera was set up in that spot to begin with, I'm not sure. Maybe they have been experiencing paranormal activity in this area of the house and wanted to record it for proof. Either way, there's still enough light spilling in from the kitchen to show a string on the ground if there was one. I can't see one, and therefore I think there's a strong possibility that this video could be absolutely real. Number 10. Michael is in the middle of making a rather innocent YouTube video when something from another world crosses over directly behind him. Michael immediately gets up to inspect the toy set, and you can clearly see that there was no string attached. A string would show up easily against the dark wood of this table, and there is also a Coca-Cola can directly in the path of where a string would theoretically have to be. In fact, watch again and you'll clearly see that Michael moves directly in front of the toy and would have totally gotten in the way of a string. The blocks themselves look to be positioned relatively secure at the bottom of a wire band, but I guess they could have somehow fallen on their own. Number 9. A husband and wife are sitting in the living room when one of them notices that the cat toy is moving all by itself. When it happens a second time a short while later, they rush to get the phone and start recording what could be an animal spirit in action. Oh my goodness. I spent a long time looking up remote-controlled cat toys, and none of them looked anything like this one. This toy is obviously small and soft, while remote-controlled pet toys are much larger and are also made of plastic to protect the receiver. Considering the married couple claims to have had a cat pass away years ago, I have little doubt that it's now returning to its favorite toy and to its favorite owners. Number 8. Omar Vassell and his friend are having a very strange problem in the toy section of Target. I will let them explain everything in a moment, but let's just say one of the toys seems to be a little too active. What is that? This one 
toy does not go off. And this toy does not go off. But the center toy goes off. So off. My hands over here. Bow. Toy goes off. Just watch. What? What is that? Like, mean, please tell me what that is, America. Please. Maybe the batteries are depleted in all of the toys except for the one in the middle, but that still doesn't explain why it would go off when the other toys are touched. I feel like this video could have an obvious explanation that I'm not thinking of, so if you recognize these toys, or if you know anything about the toy manufacturing or design in general, then please let me know how this could possibly happen. Number 7 this video comes from a supposedly haunted home in Chiefland, Florida. Diane Fraser and her paranormal investigation group attempt to summon the ghost of a child named David by inviting him to play with a toy top. Sure enough, the small piece of plastic soon begins to move on its own. Can you make sure that's zoomed in correctly? It is. Yeah. Okay. I want you to see that. Look at that. Oh, good good job. job. Can you get that, Gabby? I am getting... Yes, yes there he goes. Whoa. Eventually, Diane feels pains in her stomach and they are able to determine that David was kicked by a horse, possibly centuries ago. I have never seen this ghost equipment or software before, so I'm not sure what the radar screen is for. If this is just a regular tablet with an app, then there really should be no possible way for the top to spin by itself. Number 6 There's a good reason why this creepy kid's bike has been relegated to the roof. It is only supposed to play this lullaby for a minute, but so far it's been a half hour and counting. I thought in India here, and this is so freaking haunted. Nope. Hey. No. Stop it. The voice soon changes to a more sinister tone, and I think I can almost hear other voices coming out of it too. I'm running away. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Number 5. This toy is apparently possessed by a spirit who wants to imitate whatever its living counterpart does. Here you can see the toddler sitting on a toy truck, so the spirit decides to do the same. All around that toy. There it goes again, there it goes again. Yep, there it goes again, there it goes again. Orbs dance all around the yellow toy truck as its wheels slowly creep forward, almost unnoticeable at times. At one point, a larger orb seems to trace the outline of the truck itself in a zigzagging pattern. And maybe it's just me, but it looks like the child notices something too. I'm pretty convinced that this is a real paranormal counterpart, but I'm definitely open to other logical explanations, so be sure to tell me what you think is happening here. Number 4 this 10 minute video shows a toy ambulance going off at random. Even though it normally requires someone to hold down the red buttons on top to make any noise, what's really weird is that it seems to respond to the voice of a child. Maybe it's just me, but it almost seems as though the ambulance was waiting for the child to count to a certain number here. It goes off a few other times, most when the child is speaking or about to speak. Oddly enough, both of these clips seem to involve the number 12. Number 3. Barry is positive that a spirit is moving around stuff in his house, so he takes a random object, puts it in the middle of the floor. This cat toy is remote controlled, so he puts the controller next to the toy to show that he is not messing with it at all. Nothing happens until almost 4 minutes into the video. Okay. Then nothing else happens until another four minutes later when suddenly there's a second burst of movement. When it moves on its own a third time, Barry is confident that he has gathered enough evidence and stops recording. My only explanation is that Barry actually has two of these cat toys and was holding a second remote controller in his hand. However, you can just tell by looking at the controller that the big plastic buttons would probably make a loud clicking noise when pressed. Yet, I never hear the button being pressed at all. Well, I think there is a good chance that this is real. Maybe Barry could record this again while showing himself in a mirror, just so we can see there is nothing in his hands. Number 2 
Michael Pomeroy owns a shop in Plymouth, England called Something Different, and in this shop is a tall Mickey Mouse doll that is quite different indeed. Michael opens the shop one day to find Mickey Mouse laying face down well over a foot away from its usual spot in a corner. When Michael checks the camera, he is surprised to find the haunted Mickey Mouse toy literally moving on its own. At first I thought it was thrown by someone off camera, but here you can see how it clearly takes a few running steps forward before collapsing. Let me know if you can see it. I have no idea how this could have been faked besides computer effects, but the way the doll moves looks very real to me. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. My new music video Stranger was recently released. Could I get your honest opinion on whether it's good or bad? Tap the circle icon in the top right corner. Then tap my music video to watch it. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number 1. This mysterious video was taken during a tour of the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. The tour guide is talking about ghostly visitors from other time periods when something darts by low to the ground. The frilly dresses, the little breeches shorts, the nice little blouses. Many people agree that this looks like it could be one of the many variations of toy rabbits that were popular during the 18 and 1900s. I suppose it could just be a speck of dust or even computer generated effects. No one says anything out loud which is suspicious, but I did notice one of the girls looks down where the object was last moving and tracks it perfectly with her head. Maybe everyone there just thought they saw something out of the corner of their eye and weren't sure until they watched the video later. These YouTubers literally got stuck and had to remain brave through some pretty serious situations. The only thing greater than their immediate fear is perhaps the overwhelming regret of the predicament in the first place. 